there. It, 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 that, that's a critical spot. How fast you can come around that corner and lay into it. How soon should you get off to make the corner? I've been testing and testing to see, but you know, I, I think I hit it pretty fast. Inside or outside? Any preference on the start? Well, this is the first time I ran the outside. I like the outside. The only thing about it was I wasn't quite used to it. I think I'm going to run the outside next time, too. Because I like the outside, because when you get the corner, it gives you the advantage going around the backside. What do you think about this kid with the equalizer? I tell you, you got a nail to the wall now. It's up to you. I want to win bad. I tell you, I want to give him all he wants. I hope to beat him. So we're going to see that race in a few minutes. But first, we've got the Jersey outlaw, Mike Wine, the Ford, against the Chevrolet, Bennett Clark, and Clydesdale. And it's a pretty even start. Bennett Clark had a real good day today. He's working the inside of the track. The long wheelbase Chevrolet seems to be working for him. Uh -oh. Trouble outlaw with the Ford. Has some very problem with the outlaw. Bennett Clark stays after it. He don't quit in this sport. First jump, he'll stay in his lane working around. Clark doing some heads up drive. Richard, this could be the first time that Bennett Clark is going to go to a final. The He's going to be pumped up. Mike Wine and the outlaw is out of it. He but has pulled his truck off the track. That means Bennett Clark will go to the championship. For the first time this year, Clark's going to the championship with the awesome Georgia Bay Clydesdale. And there you see him bouncing, rocking, rolling across the finish line. Clydesdale and Bennett Clark will move into the final, the championship round, and he'll face the winner of our next race, either the equalizer or the stopper. And speaking of the stopper, Army spent the afternoon with Marvin Smith talking about how he set up that beautiful Chevrolet to run on this long track. Marvin Smith, you'll be driving the stopper truck. What changes do you make for this length of a track? What I've got, Army, is, I, is, is I've got a series of gearboxes. I've got a, a main gearbox with a quick change box in front of it. What I've done is I've gone 30 over one-to-one. -one. Hopefully this will be the right combination for this track. This is uh, probably the longest track we'll run all year long. But uh, I, what I'm trying to do is stay in my power range and still, and still not, not well work the engine. Okay, now, what is your power range You're running? A big block supercharged engine on alcohol. What do you like to run that engine at? What RPM? What I'm doing is I, I run the big block. I run it on carburetor gas. Uh, I like, I like to keep mine working around between four and 5,500. That, that, that's a good power range right there. You get over that, you're straining just a little bit, especially this long track. If, if you're on a shorter track, you'd like to take it up between five and 7,000. But this long of a track, you'd like to work between 45 and 55, somewhere in the area like that. And now we're ready to find out who is going to be facing Clydesdale for today's championship. It'll either be starving Marvin Smith and the Stomper Chevrolet or dangerous David Morris out of Tennessee, the equalizer, David just recently, Army took over the lead in the Renegades National Point Standing. Could be a dream come true year, a Cinderella year for the equalizer. He's on the inside, Stomper on the outside. Marvin Smith told us a moment ago that's where he wants to be, but I'm amazed at how quick they move with the equalizer truck. It comes off the starting line like a pro soccer on a drag racing circuit, and it weighs 13,000 pounds. This kid has already built up about a 50-meter lead, Richard. What a jump, a little bit out of shape, but he gets it under control quickly. But don't give up on Marvin Smith. He's coming back. Now Marvin's trying to work the inside, and this kid knows it. The winner's going into the final against the Clydesdale. Who's it going to be? Tennessee or Missouri? The kid cranks the wheel, trying to get across the finish line to go into the final. That's it. The Volunteer State going against the Show Me State. For the Whoa, look oh. out. Marvin Smith doing some heads-up driving. Richard, it's amazing. It's not over in these monster truck races till they stole the flag. Oh, you saw Marvin wave to the crowd. That was great driving to keep that truck from tipping over, and I'll tell you exactly what he did as we see a replay coming across the finish line. There you see David Morris and the equalizer get the win. But Marvin Smith, as he comes up and over, he actually accelerates more when he feels himself tipping over, and he powers through that, doesn't he, Arnold? Yeah, you got to throttle out of trouble. The natural instinct is to hit your brakes. That would be disastrous in this sport. Well, we are just about set to rock and roll with a championship at the Louisville Motor Speedway. It will be the equalizer against Bennett Clark and Clydesdale. Power Tracks and the Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge is brought to you by TNT Motorsports, the nation's leader in pulling and the monster truck racing. Champion on the Renegade CNT Monster Truck Challenge from the Louisville Motor Speedway in Kentucky. And an interesting contrast in trucks. We've got Bennett Clark and Clydesdale, the Chevrolet that is 11 and a half feet high. It weighs over 12,000 pounds against the Equalizer and David Morris. His Chevrolet is only eight and a half feet high and it weighs only 9,500 pounds. 9,500 pounds that leaves the starting line like a 3,000 pound pro stock on a drag racing circuit. That kid is tough. Works the inside of the Richard.
computer is just amazing how quick that truck runs, and it runs quick for a long time. He just goes out and keeps going. Suspension working great. Look at that. Very little air, Richard. He stays close to the cars. But oh, Clark's not Clark. giving up. Boss Bennett Clark's trying to come back. He's trying to reel him in. There's only one more turn to decide who's going to be the champion. Richard, what does it look like from your viewpoint? I saw David Morris turn around, look over his shoulder to see where Bennett was, and he is going to get the win. David Morris, 22 years of age, his first year in Husher truck racing, knocks off. Bennett Clark, 32 years of age, four years in a monster truck, and the rookie has done it again. He has gotten another win. That means he is going to expand his lead on the Renegade TNT National Pool Circuit. David Morris unhooked all the safety equipment. As has been a Clark, a good race, but a win for David Morris. David Morris, second win of the year, but you had to work for it. He pushed it to the limits. Yes, he was really coming in there on the last of that race. I, he had me worried there for a minute. I knew he was going to be trying his best, but luckily I just gassed it all I had there at the last and went ahead and pulled home. Well, I want to congratulate you and Gary Cook on a, a tremendous win here in Louisville, Kentucky. Gary Cook has definitely teamed up with an outstanding young man. It's his first year. We're not going to call him a rookie anymore. This kid is the star of the future. All right, so as the dust settles here at the local motor speedway and the thousands of fans file out, a big story comes out. That is that David Morris and the Equalizer, perhaps the new truck to be reckoned with on this circuit. More importantly, with his win today, he has moved further up in the national championship point standings. He may be taking over the lead. For Army Armstrong, I'm Richard Leake. We'll see you again on the tracks across America. Thank you.